Welcome, Annie Collins here for the Rabbit Hole Designs. Today we're going to create this fun cupcake card. Let's go over the products I used to create this card. Our new stamp set called Sweet Wishes. This is TRH195. It has a four elements. It has this big cupcake and three lollipops. Two of our lollipops are heart shaped and one is a circular with hearts. They all have design on them. You have some great sentiments like you're so sweet. <clears throat> you make Thank you for making the world suck less, which is so funny. And for my sweet friend, you're the cherry on top. That's the one we'll be using today along with our cupcake. I went ahead and stamped and colored our cupcake and our sentiment and I have them all ready to go. I use the following um, Copic markers and I'll have them all listed for you below because I know it's not always so easy to see them here. I also use a jelly roll pen in white. This is number 10, so it gives me nice thick white lines to add little accents. And then I have a few little embellishments. I also brought in the You've Been Framed new layering die set. <clears throat> this is TRH197D. And I use them to die cut our pattern paper and our layering cardstock. Now, this pattern paper is from rabbit hole designs as well and I'll have that link in the description box below. So here's a quick look at our uh, dies. <clears throat> you get three of these frames and they layer nicely and they nestled nicely within one another and I use the smallest and uh, the biggest for our card today. Along with these layering frames that have a uh, dash and dot design to them, I might say, you get this impression uh, sunburst and then <clears throat> these two strips to go with it. They're for your sentiments or just to create designs on, the, on your card. What I mean by impression on that sun rays is that it doesn't cut into your uh, dot, into your card stock. It just leaves a nice impression. It looks like a nice sunburst. Okay, <clears throat> so now that we have all, we went over all the products, Let's jump into the project. So I have, like I said, <clears throat> the heart pattern paper here. This is from Rabbit Hole Designs. This is a double layer, double layered, double sided card stock. We have our card base, which is a 110 pound white card base. I have this light purple card stock and it's about a hundred pounds. I have it up to my stash. As you can see, this is double sided. One side has all the pretty little hearts, and the other side has little, uh, like little tulips, little flowers. I'm going to use a little Barely Art glue here to adhere our panels together. And I'm slightly off screen, and I'm sorry. I think my card panel was throwing me off, making me think I was in screen. But all I'm doing is placing some adhesive on the back here. I'm going to nestle these and get the centered on here. And I love this uh, dash and dot design on these um, dies here because it's nice and subtle and it's pretty without overwhelming. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere the, these panels onto my card base. <clears throat> and yes, I always put glue all the way around the perimeter of my panels and then some in the center. I do that because I cannot handle edges popping off. I don't know about anybody else. Maybe it's my own pet peeve. But <clears throat> I don't like when you make a card and the little edges pop off. It's a thing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere these layers onto our card base. Once I have those on there, we will adhere our cupcake. Just giving that a nice firm press. Now my cupcake, um, there are dies for this set. I do not have those dies. I, so I just stamped and fussy cut them and then I <clears throat> colored them. And then I'm using foam adhesive to pop up our cupcake. I'm gonna get this centered using the purple hearts on the bottom as sort of my table, so to speak. Just using it to line up so my cupcake is nice and straight. I did the same thing with our sentiment. I stamped it, I fussy cut around it, keeping a nice um, little edge. And then I layered it onto a pale pink uh, cardstock 
just to give it a nice little bubble, a little something, so it pops off. It doesn't just blend into the background. I'm going to see if I get this on here straight. Once I do, I press it into place. <clears throat> just fussing a bit. There we go. Now it's straight. I can press it down. And now we're going to bring in some embellishments. Of course, embellishments like these, they're a little more dimensional, so these are optional. You can not use them. You can use a flat stickers or something else, but I'm going to use these <clears throat> sequins in pink, in two shades of pink, and then a little purple heart. Now the heart, I've they are sticky back. But I've had them in my stash for a long, long time. These are little acrylic, like enamel hearts. And I just wanted to make sure they stayed on there. Because um, once you have things that have adhesive, sometimes they lose their sticky after a while. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue dot on our cardstock. A little glue dot. A little drop of glue. And then I'm going to place my little heart on top. So I have a little tiny one for up here near the sentiment. And then I have a bigger one towards the bottom. <clears throat> I created two clusters of three, one towards the by the sentiment and one towards the bottom left near the cupcake. Then I went with little purple hearts to mimic the little purple hearts on our cupcake. And now we're all set. So our card is now complete. It's nice and fun. I love the little texture that our layering dies add to this. We have that beautiful pattern paper which inspired all the colors of my cupcake. And then our sentiment, your the cherry on top. So this is from our new Sweet Wishes stamp set and our you've you've been you've been frame layering dies. So here's our stamp set, which is beautiful. <clears throat> and our card and let me flip my stamp set over just to show you that our banner may have changed but we have the same great quality stamps um, and dies we just went more on a basic background kind of image rather than a colored logo so again I will have everything listed in the description box below for you with links to the shop for easy access. Thank you for being here and I hope you found some inspiration. Here's another quick look of our card. <clears throat>